Hi, I'm Vampy Bet, and welcome to my channel. Now, I don't usually make videos in this sort of setup, but it's short enough that I figure I could do it in this way. And you can probably guess by the title what this video is about. It's me getting fooled on the internet. Basically, I was catfished, but not in the way you might think. Okay, so be me, be like 12, and be on this app called Amino. Bad. Don't be on Amino. I'm shivering thinking about it. Amino for me was a place to post my art and to talk to other 12 year olds about art. And there was this one kid around my age who had like amazing art. Basically everybody in our little Amino group loved her art and we all fucking looked up to her. And I looked up to her like a lot because at that time I had never even thought about doing like commissions and she did like commissions and live streams and I was just like, you are the coolest person in the universe. Nobody can do what you do except for you. And it's funny because like, that's what I do for a living now. But back then those two things were like so intimidating. Anyways, eventually, you know, we all grew out of using that app. And if you still use that app, I would recommend never going there again. And you know, I never really see her again. Until I see her on my explore page in Instagram in like 2016 blown the fuck away i'm just like so excited i'm like a teenager now and i'm like i'm ready to make friends again at first i didn't really believe it was her but her art looked exactly like the one that i desperately wanted mine to look like when i was little so i scrolled all the way down back to 2012 and lo and behold it was my friend from amino i actually went so far as to re-download amino and like cross-reference the art and they were the exact same and i was so fucking excited i did what any reasonable person would do and i dm'd her i reached out and i was so fucking excited and i told her like i remember you from amino do you remember me this was my screen name etc so excited and then i waited and eventually she dm'd me back saying that she had never had amino <laughs> Ever. and my heart fucking sank <laughs> for years this girl that i thought i was friends with was basically just catfishing and stealing this girl's heart here's the real kicker that i mentioned at the beginning how the fuck was she doing commissions and live streaming like the only thing that i can think of is that she was posting the original artist's like live stream link and like posing that that's like her for the commissions i have no fucking clue because that is just like somebody's original character that obviously the original artist hasn't drawn before the fucking trickery that went in front of my 12 year old eyes insane by the way if you think that this could be possibly the same person and like maybe the like they were just lying because they were like embarrassed about being on amino at one point they were not because she did a face reveal on Amino and they are not the same fucking person. <laughs> Insane. It was weird and I still feel weird about it. I ended up following her because it seemed like the right thing to do after I embarrassed myself. And then a couple months later, I ended up unfollowing her and blocking her because she was being weirdly transphobic during Pride Month. And it was all because she thought that the down with Sisbus meme was a real thing that actually happened. It was weird. Anyways, um, that was a couple years ago, so like, don't worry about any of that now. I think it's just a bit funny now. Anyways, don't use Amino. Um, thank you for watching. I'm gonna kiss your mom now. Mm -hmm.